All right, welcome to week two of SBTI. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel. I feel pretty mad. I'm playing against uh, Simpleton, who is a really cool friend of mine. They are an epic coach. Uh, that team consists of Mew, Mega Mowile, Rotom Wash, Nita King, the alone variant of Ninetales, Gudra, Billaroom, Bisharp, Girder, and Chukumukuku Miku. Chukumuku. Um, I obviously, like speed tier wise, they have nothing uh, that's faster than Gengar and Twenty, which is nice, and only one more faster than Zerud, which is which is interesting. Nothing faster than Snarling and Sand, but they do have a way to counter my Sand with a lot of Nine Tails, um, and they also just generally have decent resists to Snarling, Ian Bishop, and Mega Mola. Um I looked at this matchup. I thought that Gengar was really good. I thought Twenty was really good. I thought that. Um, Magmar was really good. Their fire type matchup is abhorrent, so he trained Magmar pretty solid. Like, their resists are Washdom, Gudra, and Pukumukumuku. Uh, a lot of which are immune to toxic, so you, like, you can wear them down. And none of them have. Oh, well, Pukumuku does have a library gun, but the other ones don't really love taking the stuff. Um, as well as none of them like Sand Chip, which is cool. So I have Magmar and Etran, both of which are. Can potentially can do like fire things and like Magmar is also faster than every Pokemon but speed invested Mew and a lot of Ninetales which is cool as is Rotom and like their ghost matchup is not amazing uh and their ground matchup is also really bad because they have one immunity and one resist so here is the team um uh, I got a defensive heat tram with a flame charge lava bloom taunt no offensive heat tram yeah with flame charge lava bloom and taunt and earth power um taunt is for something I don't remember what the taunt's for, actually. Uh, Pukumuku, right, obviously. Duh. Uh, yeah, taunt's for Pukumuku. Um, flame Charge and Lava Plume, I can like alternate between to wear down Pukumuku. Uh, flame Charge is for speed. I don't remember exactly what it is I have speed for, presumably for a little Night Tails at plus one. Um, so that, that that's a thing. Yeah, Lava Plume, Flame Charge, Earth Power. Earth Power, obviously, to hit something. Um, basically, Watch Them just needs to be gone, and then this can kind of go in. Uh, Earth Power to hit... Gudra neutrally, I guess. Hits a few other Pokemon, but they already hit pretty well, so I don't know. Um, yeah. I've got Scarf, Choice Scarf, that's right, you, you do see it here, on real screen. This is a Choice Scarf Hippodon. Um, obviously, the cool thing about this is that it outspeeds most of their comp. I believe it outspeeds Rotom Wash and, like, everything. Obviously, Rotom Wash is not the best thing, and Bill Room is also not the best thing, but I do have Toxic for both of them, obviously, Fire Fang to hit build room after it's been toxic uh and like earthquake slash high horsepower hits a lot of the team really hard like this um tanks more while and does a lot of damage back to it this tanks bishop does a lot of damage back to it uh obviously it hits gudra pretty hard that's right sucker from both and if they don't click sucker then i'm not taking the damage right um so that's really solid and like they just generally don't enjoy taking hits from this like this can genuinely clean up in a late game um but then the other option I have is a uh, like sub nasty plot Gengar, Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt because their Shadow Ball resists is like what Bishop which dies to plus two Thunderbolt yeah so it was like yeah I just just die to random coverage move um thank you yeah and then Shadow Ball just like wrecks this team so that's pretty solid uh then Birdman fast and everything it's got Iron Tail so this is like my anti-lead to a lot of Nine Tails because Aurora Veil is painful, um, S slash Heat Wave and Taunt, S slash just for accuracy, Heat Wave obviously to hit the, the Mega Mawile, and Taunt again for Pukumuku, but I believe this is also designed to stop them setting up like hazards and bullshit. Um, yeah, I think so. I think it was designed to stop them setting up hazards, because I don't have any hazards on this team, because neither of these ones have hazards. Then I have the Love Bug, which is a Wisp Hex Discharge Pain Split, um, Washington. Burns and Paralysis are both really good for my team, so if I can get these things or anything, Hex still does actually really solid damage, and Pain Split just allows me to get more HP. I was him being chipped down by my own Sand, but like so is their team. Or wait, didn't I want to not run Sand? I think I wanted to run Sand Force on this one, because I didn't want to run anything else. Like getting, I didn't want any of my own ones getting like worn down. Wasn't that a thought process that I had? But I guess I didn't do it, because I, I don't have that there. Now I got Vaporeon, which is Skull Toxic Wish and Flip Turn. Um, Toxic is just solid. Oh, yeah, I've got my plus attack because I didn't need any investment for some specific calc. Might have been two carrying Bishop with um, the Skull. I'm, I'm not sure honestly. 
Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so that was the thing. That, that I, it's been a while. I've got speed for something. Mola, I think. I think I've got speed for Mola. Because um, I just want to be faster than it and hurt it a lot. So yeah, there's the shape of water. It's pretty pretty solid. Um, and obviously, again, burns will allow like the hex to go in. Yeah, and, and flip turn is a good pivot move in general. They don't have a water immunity. Am I oh yeah, I'm just blind. All right, that's because I need that text. DLC draft. There we go. I will uh, get to the Discord. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's the game. Uh, you too. Uh, please send send link as I am recording. Hot. Yeah. Okay. So. No bishop. That's cool. Uh, no wall of nine tails. That's really cool. No Pukamuku, so they have two fire resists. I didn't wind up bringing Magma on this team, that's right. I used to have Magma on the team and then I took it off. That's very sad. Um, hmm. Gyoto might be an issue. But only one Pokemon that's faster than Scarf um, Hippo is really good news. I believe I believe that Scarf Hippo is faster than Nidoki. It is. And it's faster, I believe, also than, yeah, Washington. Yeah. Um. I would think it occurs Nidor King. But I also have just like Taunty. There it is. I <laughs> just sorry. I, I, I love running like the less well explored sets, like a Scarf Nidor King. Um I don't know, maybe I should have run Sand Force. Alright. Sorry, so I, I brought Torn, I was always going to lead it if they had um, the Alolan Ninetales. Um, oh, there we go, there's people coming in. Okay, that's a good sign. So, solid. What do I feel weak to in this matchup? Man, there's only one Pokemon faster than Rodan. That's kind of crazy, honestly. Like, they have so much on the back of Mew, and I have, a, like, a Gengar. <laughs> um, yes, the... So, oh, sorry. The Simpleton is also my favorite. I don't know. Um, I kind of really want to get Mew paralyzed. I still think I should lead either Gengar or Hippodon. And if I want Gengar to be my win condition, I probably shouldn't lead it. Lead it. So I think I lead Hippo. Mm. This leaves a ve this 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 brings up a very difficult question of: Do I sacrifice my Hippo? Just to get a toxic off. Should let Torn on. Um, I assume I don't die to a Rotom Wash move. I can die to, but I wouldn't die if I was max HP. So they shouldn't risk it. They 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 risk the inaccurate move. <laughs> wow, that's a slow Rotom. Okay, no, I'm not gonna say anything. Um. I don't, have any, I don't get any value out of staying in, so I guess I go run. Because what do they... Because even if they vault here, what do they get out of vaulting? Now they know I'm Scarf, which is annoying. I kind of wish I was slow with the run. Um, but I know they're not leftovers, which is good. Because Sand goes before leftovers, but Toxic doesn't, so... Okay, I should have stayed in, but I didn't get anything out of clicking Toxic again there. Outside of losing... I, I, well, I guess I got an extra, like, 16%. 18%? 18%. So I probably should have stayed in, since I was predicting that. But it's whatever. Um, what Pokemon are they going into here? Opus Mawile. <laughs> that would be so weird. Um, 
Probably Nidor King, right? Gudra? Oh, hell yeah. I'll take any and all ship into this. What's a Gudra's base HP stat? I actually don't remember if it's good or not. Because Rodham's is terrible. Rodham's is... My Rodham is a lot less HP than this, so pain splitting makes sense to me. Um, I don't think I die to a non-spex hit. Oh no, I can die to a non-spex assault, uh, like Draco. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I probably should have not sacked it there. I don't know, knockoff. I don't know, I probably should have gone for something, but I didn't have Vault, which is the only thing I would have really felt comfortable going for. And I would have been vaulting into Heat Trap, which is not going to do anything to this. Um, so I guess I just go into Hippo, and I do go for the Earthquake. Or I double into Vaporeon. Or a double into Tornadus? Or a double into Gengar? <laughs> I think I'm like here and I have to double and I just don't know what into. I mean, I could Fire Fang into um, a potential Rotom, right? I'm not gonna go for the Earthquake. Because getting the chip into Rotom is fine. No, I need to go into Vap. I don't know. Because I am Spideff. Am I ever doubling into Heatran here? I'm gonna click Fire Fang. Oh, it's Helmet. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I can't say I expected that. Actually, what, what, I don't remember what my taunt spread is like. I was it taking hits from this? Meh. Not very well. But does it need HP? Yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of ass, honestly. Whatever. I'll, I'll go Taunt. I don't really need the Taunt so much. And I think he's... Right. So do I ever go back into Hippo here? That is the question. I think I do. Even though I died to a Hydro. <laughs> yeah. Actually, if I go in, if I go into Gengar on a Vault, then I just get to see what their Gudra set is, right? Man, that okay, that did more damage than I expected it to. I should have gone Hippo. I was thinking I would double Hippo, but I thought it was too obvious, and that they might even like Plane Split, but didn't Plane Split, so I don't know. I shouldn't have sacked Rotom. That was a dumb decision to make. I don't know what this is going to do. I don't think I want to know what this is going to do. I'll go Torn. I... I really have a good way to punish. Um, okay. Alright, from the... Can I get the flinch? I did not get the flinch. Man, I hate how much HP is. <laughs> when it's not my Rotom, I hate how much HP Rotom gets, but I should have taunted there. I was sincerely considering the taunt, but I was too much of a bitch to go for it. Um, does it ever make sense to go Hippo here? I don't think it does. Uh, I kind of need to, though. Do I? Does it make sense to go back? No. I think I need to eye slash again. Can I get the flinch? This is so such it's annoying. I, I know I, I should have gone hippo. I know I should have gone hippo. But I just didn't want to risk it. I don't know. I just I feel like I just didn't prep well enough for Rotom Wash. I think that that's basically what I'll 
level 2, right? I sacked my Rodan, which was dumb, to Gudra, even though I have a Heatran. But I didn't really have, like, Heatran wasn't really a switch into it, right? Um, also my Fairy, why did I bring it? I, it's Gudra, I don't know why I didn't bring it. Oh, uh, right, they have a Moa. Yeah, that makes sense. I can't get a single flinch, but, you know, one of my opponents, they, they always get everything they need to. Outside that one Hydra miss, I mean, that's fair. If this is Earthquake, I will cry. Why did I sack my two ground immunities? <laughs> I have a Nidor King! I made a very dumb decision in sacking my two ground immunities against Nidor King. Gengar doesn't have Levitate anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is, man. I used to be able to play well, and I just don't have it anymore. I just really don't have it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get it back. If somebody could please tell me in the comments below. Question of the day. How do I stop being terrible at Pokemon when it used to be good? I feel like I'm just like insulting my opponents by just playing as terribly as I am. Like it's just, I feel like a bad person for not being good at Pokemon. <laughs> I used to be okay. Like, you know, you saw me keep wanting to make that the switch to Hippo, and then I never did it because I'm just not not here. I, I'm just not about it, I guess. Why the fuck did it have Volt Switch? I do not know. I don't have a Gudra Switch in anymore, so that's fun. Why did I sack all my team? Why, why did I not just bring a team that could beat this team? Well, I don't know. Probably because I didn't have one. I just feel like I'm drafting poorly and I'm playing poorly. I don't know. <laughs> like, I was like, well, like, in, in this specific... And then they broke good out, like, what the fuck am I doing? So I have to what, go into VAP now? On an Earthquake, and then still not beat Gudra anyway? I have to stop Rotomosh somehow. Yeah, I have to go, like, VAP. No, I don't. I shouldn't go VAP, that was dumb. Okay, well, they went for Surf, so I'm glad I went for I'm clicking Flip Time. This disturbs me. Why is this coming in? Help, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Uh, I mean, I guess I lose Heat Trap now, right? Yeah, Heat Trap does not into this, so... But like, it's not like I. But then I would lose Gengar if I went Gengar. So I just lose. I don't have like anything for more. Like, I mean, I'm chip on Mew away. I'm chip on from. I'm chip on this and chip on Mew away from winning with um. I, I watched him dying to winning with Hippo, right? But I don't have anything that's low enough to be able to like do anything with Hippo. I guess I like go Heatran. And then just lava plume and hope I don't burn it. Even though it does nothing. Or I can like Earth Power. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to do, man. This is fucked. I don't feel like I had enough of this. Rocks would help. Can I please not get the burn? Okay, I didn't get the burn. It's at fucking 5 million percent again. Like what? Ah! Please, can I not get the burn? No! Fuck! Okay, that, that's that's fucked. I got nothing. I, uh, cool. GG. GG. GG like six million turns ago when I lost my entire team for no reason. Why did I have Hex? Like, I don't, why did I sack my entire team for no reason? I got nothing. I, I, I get nothing out of this. I don't, I don't know how to win. Like what? My win condition is like... I don't know, Firefang flinching the entire fucking team down, including the Mew? I just don't have good prep. I fucking just... I mean, it's been GG since, like, I sacked Rotom. Like, I just don't have anything, and I don't know how to be good. I, I, 
I think I just need to not play Pokemon or something. Like, I'm just completely incapable of doing anything that makes sense. I don't even have, like, a fucking non-ground type move to click here. This probably doesn't even die to Earthquake, like... What? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't even die to Earthquake. So then what, I need to go into Vaporeon now? Because I need, like, all the chip, and if they drain punches, then I, it doesn't die anyway. So it's like... <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What, 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 what? what? Like, I, sure, I, I, there were plenty of places where I made mistakes. Like, but I just didn't have the pieces to not make mistakes in the first place. Like, I didn't have a fucking amazing, like, a, a, a 10 out of 10 Gujra switch or something. I, I need to go Gujra on, like, I need to go, like, Vapor on the Draco, take, like, 6 million percent. Or I, like, need to go Heatran and then double into Gujra or something, like. And then what, what? So I have to wear this down somehow. Jesus, that does a lot of damage. Is this specs or something? I don't know. I should actually double back into Hippo, because I knew he was going to go for Volt. But I also didn't get anything out of him going into Hippo, so... Wait, he went into Mew? I could not tell you why he went into Mew. I don't think anyone could tell you why he went into Mew. Well, he's a Fire Fang here. I don't have anything to stop them from just going into Washington. Cause, and then getting a pain split for free. So can I get the flinch? Or the burn? Or anything? No, no nothing? Okay, cool. GG. 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 I've fucking played this, like, dog shit. I don't know. If Mew was recovery, I'd just lose to the Mew. I mean, yeah, they should just bolt into Gudra. No, they should bolt into Nidoking, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what they should bolt into. I don't know Protect, so. I mean, they don't even need to conserve the 6-0. It doesn't really matter. Okay, well, that was a weird decision to make. I hope they just, like, threw it for no reason. Which I think they might have. Please no burn. Please okay, thank you. No burn. Um Okay, cool. They had they had roost. I don't know why they were clicking bolt. Okay. Cool. GG. No it was not. No it was not. Please do not say well played. Please do not say well played when I played awfully. I played awfully. Like please please do not say this. Like just I, I played garbage at every single turn. Basically every single turn. And I was like, what? I was like what? Well, what's the point? Why, what, just don't say well played, you know, honestly. Like, I'm in the opinion that you just shouldn't say well played. If, if someone didn't play well, like, unless you hack someone, don't say well played. And I, I, I did not get hacked here. Like, just don't say well played if they play badly. And I just just didn't play well. I, I, I tried to draft around a thing, and I have good Pokemon, so it's not like I can say, oh, my Pokemon. No, I just play badly. I don't know fucking how, and then, uh, like, I didn't prep for Goda well, and I just didn't do well. I had nothing. They just, 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 why, why, why would you say that someone played well if they didn't? I, I don't get it. Whatever. Thank you guys for watching. I'm probably not going to play this